Hello, my name is Jean-Francois Boivin, and I'm production manager on Assassin's Creed 2. To tie you over until the game's release, which is only a few days away, we'll show you a never-before-seen mission. Send them towards a group of guards, and they'll create So in this one, Ezio needs to steal some outfits and weaponry in order for his friends, the thieves, to use them in the next mission. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need the armor that they wear. A shipment of the stuff has just been loaded into chests and now awaits delivery to Seta. Loot the chests and retrieve the outfits. When that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. We'll use it to move our men into the palazzo undetected. Consider it done. In this mission, we want to show you that there are a lot of different ways to accomplish each of the mission objectives. I know that the first chest is somewhere in this area behind these guards. So I'm going to blend in with these folks and pass them unnoticed. In Assassin's Creed 2, you can blend in with any group in the crowd, so no more waiting for a group of monks to pass by this time. I don't want to engage the guards and create a commotion, so what I'm going to do is try to find an alternative route. The chest is right there. I'll try to see if there isn't a way to get it from behind the guards. I'll drop down here carefully and loot the chest without alerting the guards. See, as an assassin, it's always good to take the time to analyze your environment because you'll find many different ways to attack your mission and complete your objectives. Now the second chest is right behind these three guards and there doesn't seem to be a lot of ways to go around them without engaging a fight. So I'll hire a group of thieves and use them to lure the guards away. All right, you know what to do. So while they're doing their thing, I'm going to wait here and watch the guards run off after them. So only one chest left to loot, one gondola to steal, and my mission is done. I got a bit of money on me, so I'll go and upgrade my assassin by buying some armor, weapons, and other tools. Here, I'm buying a new leather armor set. Buying this armor is going to give me more health points. I'm also going to treat myself with a brand new mace. Blunt weapons are my favorite these days when I'm playing, and I'll show you why later when I bash someone's head in. And finally, I'll buy some throwing knives and some smoke bombs. Come and see me next to pass this way. For the third chest, I'm going to use what we call a dead body lure. First, I'll find a guard who's patrolling alone and kill him using the hidden blade. I'll then grab his corpse and carry it without the guards in front of the chest noticing me. The best way to do this is to break the line of sight using a wall, for example. I'll throw the corpse so that the guards notice it. And as they do with all dead bodies, they'll come investigate. And I'll select my smoke bomb while staying hidden. And when the guards are close, I jump in and throw the smoke bomb. So as they choke on the fumes, the chest is all mine to loot. Now I gotta leave the area before the smoke bomb effect vanishes. Now my final objective is to steal the gondola below. I'm gonna use the water to my advantage this time and use a stealthy approach.
In the water, guards can still see you if you come too close to them. So you need to go underwater to avoid them seeing you. There are two guards here. I'm gonna throw this one off the ledge and into the water. This other guy, I'll just take out with my mace. So the gondola is mine to take. I'll drive it back to Hugo, our mission giver, and conclude the mission. And this is just one of the hundred or so missions you'll find in Assassin's Creed 2, which is being released next week. Molto bene, Ezio. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. <laughs>